the project I'm going to do this week is phases and I was inspired a number of years ago and I seen this in a magazine there and I says I'd love to try them and Derek Anders from Nova Scotia he's the wood hunter that originally came up with the idea so I got in touch with him and I said I'd like to uh, try your piece and make a video of him and he said yeah he'd love to see it so here it goes I'm gonna have a go with it here on the lathe but he calls the his he the name he calls them is triplets or triplets one and triplets two I'll put a link down below to his website and you can go and have a look at some of his work and see what he makes so here it goes and not less of the talk and I'll just go over the lathe here and I'll show you how I have a go of making one of these. Okay. Okay, what I have here is the two pieces on the chuck. What well the back piece here is mounted onto a chuck in expansion mode. Okay, I made a recess in it and I have it on it. This piece here is screwed on with four screws on four corners and I countersunk the screws so I don't want to hit the tip. I don't want to hit them with my chisel if I do go in there. But try and keep back from this end here. Because this gun, you need to keep this kind of square when you go to reverse it. And I'll turn this side first, then I'll turn it around and I'll turn the far side. Okay, and I'll be just basically flattening off the front of it here with this chisel and then making kind of all different grooves and I'll be using a texturing tool probably around in certain parts of it put a bit of texture in it. You can do a bit of carving on this if you if you want to do a bit of carving on it. Okay. First side on this face here now, what I'm going to do is unscrew it here, turn it around and do a pattern on the other side. Now you can vary whatever you want to do, patterns, uh, texturing, put beads, coves, flat faces, it's entirely up to yourself. This, When this piece is done, it's totally unusual anyway when it's done. So wherever you come up with you come up with the only thing about it now is sanding it it's going to be a little bit harder on the sand and you just have to take your time and don't um put your hands in any of the places where you shouldn't put your hands okay
side number two finished and I'll take us on to the next stage now I'll just basically unscrew it and I'm going to take it out onto the bandsaw and cut it into three pieces and I'll show you that next The next stage, after cutting the tree the minute hat down the middle here, I have three pieces here now. So I'm going to put them on the lathe now and make sure you face them all the right direction. So this one is going on here, like so. Okay, and it's basically the same thing over again. Just clamp it on there and put a screw on it. the three pieces screwed onto the face play and I'm just going to trim it up get it nice and flat and then put a pattern on it now That's that side finished now, sand it. I am not putting any finish on it because it'll probably go in between the grooves here and mess her up. I'll finish her off the lathe. So I'm just going to swap it around to the far side. Just do the same, this is the last face now, just do the same again. Uh, True her up nice and even and put a pattern on it. Last side finished now and I'm just going to give that a rub of sandpaper now and take it on to the next stage, okay? I have the piece in between centers now and I'm going to put a tenant on the ends here and just make sure you don't get mixed up tops and bottoms so this is going to be the, the base so I'll put a tenant on the base and I'll do that with the three of them now and then I'll be able to put them in the chuck and walk on them then okay the 
piece on the chuck and I'm going to drill right down into the center 10 mil drill bit go there's the finished project three nice phases it's a four dimensional piece it's kind of a deco piece that you'd have and if you have any questions just leave them down below or if you want I'll do an update video on it okay and I just want to give a shout out to a wood horner from Italy out there and his name is Joval and he has really nice stuff he's been torn on just putting videos up for a while and he made a nice uh, project there last week uh, with a bog oak and beach and it's a lovely vessel and i'll put a link as usual down below or up here and go and check him out so thanks very much for watching everyone and don't forget to subscribe if you're new and please hit the like button if you like the video bye now see you all soon